Yo, what is good YouTube? We are back with another video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys are hitting that like button and that sub button. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. I know I've kind of broken the everyday upload streak that we were holding on to for a little bit. Not not very long, but we held on to it for a little bit at the beginning of the game. Um, as many of you know, there was a hurricane that came through Florida and some other states, and uh, that hit very close to me. So I was helping everybody clean up, helping everybody on the outer islands who dealt with storm surge get their uh, get their lives back together. Luckily for me, I'm very elevated, so I didn't have to worry about anything. But that is the reason why um, it's starting to cool down just a little bit, so we should be back to our everyday upload streak. i um, going to try to hit two uploads some days whenever I can. If I have two videos to post, I will post two videos. But with that being said, today we are going to be getting into a jump shot video. This jump shot is going to be for players 6'5 to 6'10. It doesn't matter if you're a tall point guard. It doesn't matter if you're a lock, a back end, a short big man. It does not matter what position. It only matters that you are 6'5 to 6'10. This jump shot, honestly, to me, has been the most cash jump shot I've used in this game. Um, my court is not exactly the easiest place to shoot, so I would not judge this off of my court. For whatever reason, I chop a lot in my court, the jump shot changes a lot in my court, and I really do have just way more trouble shooting in here than anywhere else. But the, regardless, the jump shot is still cash. This is a jump shot that I've been shooting close to perfect with in basically every game that I've played recently on it. Um, I've played a lot of rec, so I know rec's difficulty isn't as high, so you might be saying, well, rec, rec is easy to shoot in. Okay. I do understand that. Um, I've used it. I've used it in the proving grounds a good bit. It's cash in the proving grounds. Obviously, it's a little bit less consistent in there because that is the truth that the jump shot difficulty is just a lot harder in proving grounds. Um, but in terms of rec, in terms of the city, it, it's cash. I mean, I'm really not missing much. Um, I don't know what it is with my court. My court to me has just been hard, hard to shoot in since the beginning of the game. I don't know why. Um, so as you can see here, I'm not as consistent as I should be. I mean, we're making most of them, but we're not as consistent as we could be. One thing I do really enjoy about this jump shot is that it makes your fade just very smooth. Um, I know for most people, if you're using this on a lock, it doesn't really matter to have a fade. For me, I like to be able to move with the ball, um, do an up fake of some sort, and go into a fade. I don't know why they're making me pull up straight. Um, that is one thing that I will say about 2K that I am not fond of this year is the fact that you pull up straight but as you can see that fade is just it's super smooth you can see your release point i wasn't really paying too much attention to time it um but it is a very smooth fade with the jump shot uh the fade is pro 2 if anybody needed that but it is just a super super easy release um when you compare the jump shot with the fade compared to other jump shots that i've used with that same fade but overall like i said this is probably the best jump shot that i've used this year it just puts the ball super high above the head. The base makes it a little bit easier to shoot. Um, so with the timing on it, the way you're going to time this jump shot, which I'm going to shoot a very late because I don't really care. But as you can see, he pushes his right arm very far out. So what you're going to do to release it at the correct timing is you're going to release it right when that right arm starts to bend. When that right arm starts to bend, that's when you're going to release the shot. That's going to give you the most amount of greens. Um, obviously shooting off field this year doesn't really work out. You have to shoot off of actually seeing your release point. If you don't do that, you're going to miss a lot of shots um, because your jump shot changes pretty much every other shot. Um, not always, but nine times out of ten, your next shot's going to be different than the shot you took before. So make sure you're looking at that release point. That is my favorite thing about this jump shot by far is that as somebody who always kind of shot off field, and don't get me wrong, I mean, you could still do it, but I was a 60-70% park shooter off shooting with feel. You can't do it as consistently as you once could. Um, you really have to look at the release point. So that was something I had to get used to this year. And this jump shot right here was the easiest out of all of them to find a release point in. You can mess with the push and release and whatever visual cue timing you want to put it on. You can mess with all that. Um, I put it right on the push line, as you're going to see here in just a second. We're going to go ahead and go to that. But yeah, I put it right on the push timing. Um, that's always kind of what I do for my jump shots. I believe that my big man video, the 6'10", the 7 footer, uh, 7 foot 3, if you need that jump shot, once again, it is um, already posted uh, about a week ago. But I think that it's a push on there as well. But getting into it, as you can see, the dribble pull-up is pro 2. And this jump shot is going to be Clyde Drexler is going to be your base. You're going to have Troy Brown Jr. You're going to have Kobe Bryant. It is going to be 55-45 for kobe and like i said i put it right on the push timing max speed some people like to slow it down 
um, not a fast jump shot at all. So keep in mind, if you are a taller guard and you're trying to shoot off the dribble, it's not fast. Um, it's fast enough. Um, it's not a slow jump shot, but it's not going to be that pull up, you know, like quick stop kind of jump shot where, you know, you have people charging at you. It's probably not what it is. Um, it does make up for that just a little bit with the fact that he jumps a fair bit off the ground. And I have used it on a guard. Like I said, probably not the jump shot for you if you are using a taller guard, but you can. Um, but 55-45 to Troy Brown. As you can see, the stats in the corner, they're very balanced. Um, timing stability to me is a big thing. Um, but timing stability and release height are two really hard things to get together. It's hard to get a great release height and timing stability while also having the speed and immunity there. I think immunity matters the least out of all of them. Um, but typically that's the easiest one to get all the way up. Uh, a release speed, like I said, it is a fast jump shot, but it's not going to be the fastest jump shot you've ever seen. And then if you mess around with your blending, if you don't have an 85 three ball, uh, I believe the more you go towards Kobe, it goes up. So the more you go to towards Troy Brown, it will go down. Um, I would be careful with that. I wouldn't exactly, um, I, I wouldn't exactly move it. I would try to have the 85 three ball. The jump shot gets just a little bit weird when you start, um, when you start changing it, but that is it. That is the jump shot. If you guys have any comments, concerns, anything about the jump shot, put them in the comment section. Let me know how you do with it. If you find it to be as cash as I do, make sure you let me know down in the comment section. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button, hitting that sub button. And if you guys want a small guard jump shot video, that will be coming soon. I appreciate all the love and I'm out.